Hello Comic Book World, here's Earl Grey with my second video about comic books that deal with natural history, natural science and maybe the most ambitious ones in this regard are these two volumes. There will be a third one at least by the author Jens Harder, that's Jens Harder, and in the back of one of the box up, he um, published a bit of the preparation process for this book, and these two books are really crazy. As to the effort, effort that uh, Harder took and the whole scale of his endeavor and um, I have this books for these books for a very long time or for some months let's say and I always wanted to do a video about them but thought I have to prepare as hell for these books um, yeah I should do but um, you can't do this books justice <laughs> I, I can't do these books books justice because they are so crazy so maybe I um, yeah again in scale and scope and everything I can just flip through some pages and you may guess what about these books are again like the Gonic book I've shown you last week these books deal with uh, the beginning of the world and especially of life and the evolution but also with the myths we uh, humans create around um, this first steps of uh, being of life oh, here we are still in the very beginnings of of our solar system I think and goes on and on for pages and pages and he uh, weaves cultural relics um, into this picture puzzle for an example here he um, quotes the tapestry of Bayeux, a very old medieval uh, carpet that uh, shows uh, a star falling down, it's called in English. Uh, uh, a shooting star. <laughs> Um, yeah, and I think it's his, uh, of cultural importance because it's the first depiction of a shooting star uh, that ever occurred or uh, still exists. So, um, there are some pages of explanation, uh, just one page for every chapter, but all in all, several pages. but. Yeah. And the bulk of it is just pictures, with tiny uh, text lines under it, uh, beneath the, the pictures. It's a catalog of everything. It's <laughs> you know uh, the, uh, the the French guy who did. Uh, first uh, early animation movies the one um, sm the smashing pumpkins quoted in 
some other videos, a milieu or something. He, this is the. <laughs> yeah, he is quoted uh, on this picture. So it's a quite postmodern, modern, modern uh, effort. This whole stuff here, in the sense that um, Harder didn't invent very much by himself, but puts it all together into something new. Yeah. Um, according to the timeline, of course. So, um, you can delve into this book and be forgotten for days. Uh, and you can try to figure out where all this the original, the originals from these pictures came from, and he helps us a little bit with this overview. <laughs> That's crazy. With this overview of all the guys, he helped him here, I guess. Yes, and there are. Their names. Karl Barks is in there, and Willem Bush, and so can't be so bad. Yeah, if you want to uh, delve into deeper into the the whole stuff here, fantastic, crazy book. I looked up on Amazon. Uh, I, I I searched uh, if there will be. If there is or will be uh, an English version, there is a French version, of course, but and a French and a German version, but uh, still no English version of this tome. And of this second tome called Better Civilizations, even though it's an English title, the text, as long as there is text, is in German. But maybe if you uh, can understand a bit German, or a bit French, for that matter, um, you won't be disappointed to buy if you buy this uh, these books because the pictures are the main thing here. Maybe it shouldn't bother you so too much. I hear plenty of the apes. <laughs> uh, maybe it shouldn't bother you too much if um, the text isn't readable for you, because the pictures are telling all the stuff here. And that's the fantastic thing here. Lots of pop cultural references, lots of wow moments for a biologist like me, a biology teacher, and um, crazy good stuff. Hmm. My video don't do this, these books any justice. I see, but Maybe I give some of you a hint what's out there. And yeah, it's crazy. In Germany, we have nearly no really comic artists around. No big comic book that uh, that's really known by anyone. And in the midst of no real nothing, just um, translations from French and English, of course. In the midst of nothing, there are here and there some freaks like Jens Harder who did these things. Crazy tomes and try to sell them by a big publisher, uh, by the way, Carlsen. They put out uh, the German Harry Potter books and do lots of money. So they may burn them by doing these books here. I, I don't think they sell too good because they're. Well, you can think, uh, you can imagine it 
they are not so cheap. Let me look. Still worth the money, but hey, this book was around 50 bucks. One book, and both books nearly 100 bucks, um, 100 euros. So, not the cheapest books, but if you take, uh, you, if you consider how many time you can spend with uh, this book, with these books, and hey, these are books that don't make you dumber, <laughs> um, they make you more intelligent. Isn't that cool? Um, not the usual silly fun. I, of course, I, I hope you hear my irony and I'm uh, rambling way too long. Sort of just want to flip through the pages and show you more of these books here. But I think you have at least an idea about what Alpha and Beta by Jens Harder uh, uh, Go Deal Ach. Uh, Next time I try to keep my English a bit more together than this time I swear So um, Thanks for listening